and welcome to this exclusive interview with the authors of Mandy's Musical Mask. My name is Haley and this is Angela and we are so excited to have this specifically for you to talk about this project and our backgrounds. So I'll pass it over to Angela who was initially the the brains or the, the idea behind this you know project um the reason that it is in existence at all um so thank you for for your brain power well that was divine intervention i'm gonna tell you that that was probably one of the nights i was sleeping Haley. Uh, <laughs> because it came to me in a dream um and i don't sleep much but um, no, uh, without Mandy, there would not be the thought of what she could do next. So I thank you for that. Um, yeah, I mean, working as a as an educator, um, my life dream was always to be a teacher. Um, and I've only actually been a teacher for a very short period of time. I have been an educational therapist. I have been a speech therapist assistant. I have been a policy analyst. Um, I've been a learning coach. Uh, my life has taken many journeys. And I think my greatest, currently my, my greatest achievement um, is the development of, um, of a school. So my background in program management and program development around education um, really helped me to see how I could provide an opportunity for children and families to live in a learning environment, to exist in a learning environment that is very family oriented. So it's like dropping your children off from home to home. So Chatmore British International School, I'm the founder and director of Chatmore British International School. And um, very recently, I've been able to take a little bit of a back seat from that very busy um, experience, which has been over, well, this year would be um, 21 years <laughs> since I left. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just time went so quickly. Um, since I left my job as um, a principal, a director of a school for children with um, moderate to severe behavior difficulties, and um, decided to pursue my PhD, which I don't have yet, because wow. I became engrossed and involved in the gap that existed in our community here in Bermuda. Um, way back 20 years ago in terms of providing children with needs support within the classroom. And that has gone from that to starting a school to now running a school. And as recently as September, um, you know, handing that school over to um, someone else to direct and to lead um, and so now I'm kind of semi-retired, <laughs> looking after my grandson. But I think that space is what gave me the time to relax a little bit and to think creatively. Um, so I've always been more of an inventor. Um, you know, that's where I live. That's the space I live in. And I'm very resourceful. But this took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, you kind of threw a, a wrench in, into the middle of your blissful retirement ish stage. Ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not done yet. So this again, and it's uh, to be quite to be quite honest. Um, it's funny because I've had people say to me, "You should write a book. You should write a book." I don't think they thought it was going to be anything like this. In fact, I know I didn't. Um, what I've been thinking about is something way more academic. Yeah. Um, so to have this kind of realize itself is part of a dream, part of a vision achieved. Right. Yeah. Um, so thank you for including me. And, you know, it just was so, uh, again, uh, an honor, 
um, to be part of it and speak so highly of who you are um, as a, as an individual to share, um, to share Mandy in this way, because I know she's a very, her, her, her legacy is yours. Yes. It's like me sharing chat more with someone, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Oh, (laughs) can you, can you do it justice? And you know, you, you, something very special, special as well. Um, uh, I'm very grateful to be working with another Bermudian and feel like I'm back in my home and my root environment. <laughs> and so, you know, we first collaborated when I was volunteering for your nursery, um, which was then only the nursery. That's right. Chatterbox. That's right. And then um, as it grew, you know, I, I loved watching that happen and what it involved and, and what it stood for. Um, and I have to owe a lot of that to you in, in that, you know, part of that experience shaped why I became a music therapist to begin with, being around wow. Um, behavior therapists and speech therapists and physiotherapists and in the same <laughs> environment was really really lovely for me to see and be a part of um, and then also I've told this story many times about me being involved in the Salvation Army Band and us going around to hospitals and education right. centers and all of those kinds of things really helped to to put my focus on um, how can I mu- use music to help other people? And so I fell into this uh, hat of becoming a music therapist. And I've been um, learning and growing in this profession now for nine years, which is crazy to, to wow, think about to think. And put that number yeah. on that. Yeah. Almost a decade now, which is fun. Um <laughs> I, and that's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. There's yeah. so much more. <laughs> and like, I feel like I'm in a really great spot right now creatively in terms of how I'm using um, mm-hmm. my creative abilities, but also using my music therapy um, network, my music therapy uh, background in order to, one, serve other music therapists and create resources for them, but also um, advocate for this profession to the the world. You know, this is something that I'm really passionate about. And um, recently I actually um, took on more of a a national role in that realm of becoming uh, the professional development chair for the Canadian Association of Music Therapy. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. It's really exciting um, because then I got to be involved more with the professional development and education of music therapy at a national level, which is super exciting to me (laughs) because that's, um, you know, what I've been working toward in my own um, brand, MTA Haley, I've been building resources and educational materials for the music therapy community in Canada and outside of Canada, which has been really special to connect with people um, even just over the border in New York. Um, wow. <laughs> but Exciting. also to have something that I can use whenever I decide to come back home to Bermuda mm-hmm. to really give back to my community there. So I, you know, this project really came out of nowhere for me as well. Like I said, divine intervention from your dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really wonderful. And um, a great way to build upon the first book, Mandy's Mom, there the Therapist. Yeah. Here's Mandy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, we're going to have a lovely chat together. All of the um, resources, the information for this book, Mandy's Musical Mask, which is an ebook, can be found at www.mtahaley.com. <laughs>